Imagine a world where recharging your electric vehicle takes less time than filling up a traditional gas tank. It sounds like science fiction or at least a long way off in the future. But according to BYD, China's electric vehicle powerhouse, that future may be closer than we think. In an industry-shaking announcement, BYD claimed they've developed a new EV platform capable of adding up to 250 miles of driving range in just five minutes. If true, this development marks a seismic shift in how we think about electric mobility. It has sent shockwaves through the global automotive industry. In March 2025, BYD dropped this bombshell. Their new EV platform reportedly enables ultra-fast charging that rivals or even beats the time it takes to fill a gas-powered vehicle. This isn't just a minor upgrade, it's a potentially disruptive leap that could finally dismantle one of the last remaining arguments in favor of internal combustion engines refueling speed. Barely two weeks after the announcement, BYD revealed their annual sales numbers, clocking in at a massive $17 billion, that's a 29% increase year-over-year, year, and a performance that eclipses their main rival, Tesla, by more than 9.5%. While Tesla delivered just over 336,000 vehicles in the first quarter of 2025, a number that fell short of war, Street Expectations BYD nearly matched that number in electric vehicle deliveries globally, and that figure doesn't even include their plug-in hybrid sales, which, when added, significantly boost their total market impact. When Western automakers express concern about the growing dominance of Chinese automakers, it's BYD there, talking about the company isn't just competing its leading dot. This leads us to the pressing question, is BYD's 5-minute charging technology the real deal, or is it just clever marketing dressed up as innovation? Is this the long-awaited battery breakthrough that will finally eliminate range anxiety? Or are there unseen limitations and complications that temper its practicality? That's the question we'll unpack as we delve deeper into what this announcement means for the EV industry and the automotive world at large. Let's take a step back and appreciate how far BYD has come. In 2018, the company sold roughly 100,000 electric vehicles. Fast forward to 2024, and that number has ballooned to 1.7 million EV, surpassing Tesla's annual total for the very first time. Today, BYD ranks among the top 10 largest automakers globally, outpacing legacy giants like Nissan, Ford, and Honda. And yet, this explosive growth is only part of the story. Equally impressive is BYD's transition from being a maker of low-cost no-frills vehicles to a vertically integrated technology, Juggernaut. They now produce their own lithium-ion phosphate LFP batteries have phased out internal combustion engine production entirely, and offer everything from $10,000 economy cars to $230,000 high-end luxury EVS. The secret behind BYD's success lies in its technology fishpond, a vast pool of talent composed of tens of thousands of engineers, scientists, and innovators. With over 25,000 patents under their belt, BYD has built an ecosystem that can rapidly iterate and innovate across battery chemistry, vehicle design, and software integration. This gives them a unique edge. They're not just manufacturing at scale, they're advancing the technology itself. Now, their boldest announcement yet the 5-minute EV charging capability could represent the next frontier in this innovation race. For context, most current generation fast charging systems in the EV market operate between 400 kilowatts to 600 kilowatts. BYD claims their new system surpasses even those, according to their statement. The technology can deliver 248 miles of driving range in just 5 minutes of charging time. For comparison, Tesla's Model Y, one of the most popular EVs on the road today, charges at a peak of 250 kilowatts and gains about 169 miles of range in 15 minutes. BYD's claim suggests charging speeds nearly three times as fast. That's not just a step forward, it's a leap. Skeptics who have long argued that EVs can never replace gas cars due to long charging times may have to reconsider their stance. This new development could effectively eliminate one of the key psychological and practical hurdles facing EV adoption. But how exactly has BYD pulled this off? The answer lies in years of R&D investment, technical refinement, and a relentless focus on improving every element of the EV ecosystem. BYD's labors are bearing fruit not only in vehicle innovation but in how those vehicles interact with charging infrastructure. However, as with all bold claims, it's essential to examine the details. There's a big difference between what can be achieved in a controlled lab setting versus what's practical in the real world. To understand the skepticism, we need to look at how EV charging works. The charging speed depends on two primary factors, the maximum output the charging station can deliver, and the maximum input the car's battery system can accept. In the US, the fastest chargers available to consumers today are DC fast chargers, most of which top out at around 350 kilowatts. Some Tesla superchargers and Electrify America stations offer this speed, but they are far from the majority. In fact, only about 22% of public EV chargers in the US are considered high-speed chargers even if more powerful charges become available. 
The car's internal battery management system must be capable of receiving such high voltage and current without overheating or degrading. For example, the Lucid Air One of the fastest charging EVs currently on the market can replenish around 200 miles of range in 12 minutes thanks to a 900-volt architecture. Hyundai's EVs, built on an 800-volt platform, can charge from 10% to 80% in 18 to 20 minutes. Tesla's Model Y accepts a peak charge of 250 kilowatts. If BYD's system truly accepts 1,000 kilowatts, it should theoretically be four times faster than Tesla's yet in practice. Things aren't so simple. EV batteries don't charge at a constant rate. Instead, they follow a bell curve charging profile. At first, energy trickles in slowly. Then, from about 10% to 80%, the speed ramps up and stays high. This is the optimal window. After 80%, however, charging slows dramatically to protect battery integrity. Overcharging or forcing too much current into an already full battery can degrade its performance, or worse, cause dangerous failures. This is why manufacturers usually quote charging times from 10% to 80%, not full capacity. To use an analogy, imagine stuffing clothes into a washing machine. At first, everything fits easily, but as the drum fills, forcing more in starts to strain. The system, overfilling causes imbalance, damage, and inefficiency. The same is true for lithium-ion battery cells. Rapid charging near full capacity can distort the internal structure of the cells, shorten their lifespan, or even lead to thermal events. There are ways to mitigate these issues, such as advanced cooling systems or novel battery chemistries like solid-state cells. But these solutions add cost, complexity, and weight to the vehicle factors that consumers and manufacturers must both consider. Another problem is diminishing returns. Charging at 1,000 kilowatts isn't four times better than charging at 250 kilowatts. Due to thermal limitations and battery physics, the improvements are often marginal after a certain point. In short, it's not a linear scale. Moreover, even if BYD's vehicles are ready for 1,000 kilowatts charging, the infrastructure isn't. Building charging stations that support this speed is an expensive, technically demanding process. It requires not just high output power supplies but also grid stability, cooling systems, and safety mechanisms. BYD has said it plans to install around 4,000 megawatt scale chargers across China to support this new capability. But elsewhere, especially in regions like Europe and North America, similar rollouts have yet to be announced or implemented. Despite these caveats, BYD's announcement should not be dismissed. The company has a strong track record of delivering on bold claims, and their technological infrastructure is formidable. Unlike startups that overpromise and underdeliver, BYD has shown consistent progress year after year. Their innovation isn't just theoretically it's deployed in millions of vehicles on the road today and perhaps even more importantly, BYD represents a broader shift in global EV competition. No longer is the narrative solely about cheap Chinese cars undercutting Western models. The new storyline is about Chinese automakers leapfrogging global rivals in core. Technologies from battery chemistries to AI-based driver assistance systems, China's hyper-competitive EV market has produced a Darwinian environment, where only the most technologically advanced survive. This environment has helped BYD amass over 25,000 patents, supported by more than 100,000 engineers who are relentlessly pushing the envelope. While this 5-minute charging capability may not yet be practical or available at scale, the very fact that it exists even in prototype form sends a clear message. China is not just competing in the EV race, it intends to win it. BID's announcement isn't just a technical milestone, it's a geopolitical one. It signals a tipping point in the global auto industry, where innovation leadership may be shifting away from traditional Western players to the new titans of the East. Tesla once disrupted the old guard, now it is facing its own destruction.